So this is my setup, a Steam controller uh, paired through Bluetooth with the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck is plugged into this uh, USB-C hub, uh, but very importantly, it needs to have a power delivery port, like this PDUS USB-C port here. And of course, this is the HDMI cable that goes to the back of the TV somewhere here. And uh, now I'll show you how to uh, enter desktop mode to set up the second display, eventually turn off the Steam Deck's display and how to enjoy uh, games in higher resolution than uh, the standard 1200 per 800 pixels. For the hub that I used, it's a local brand, a Romanian brand. I don't see it's Miri, I don't think you'll find it around here. It was about uh, $20. Uh, but all you need is to search for a hub that has uh, USB-C with power delivery. You can search USB-C PD. And what's very important, it needs to have at least uh, 80 watts. This one, for example, the Anchor USB hub, uh, it has 100 watts. So uh, if you have a charger that is 100 watts, it will transfer the power to the hub and the hub will distribute it to the other peripherals, including the Steam Deck. And you, like you saw in the video, you plug uh, this cable into the Steam Deck and the USB-C power delivery slot, you will be, you will insert in it the charger from the Steam Deck, the original charger. Or if you have a more powerful one, uh, attention on the voltage because uh, the charger uses uh, 15 volts. I heard people uh, that used uh, with 12 volts and it still worked. So, no. and if you are in doubt, uh, of course, you just search best Steam Dock and uh, for example, this is the game's radar top. They have uh, ex best recommendation, cheapest recommendation, uh, whatever you want and whatever your budget is. Even a cheaper one does the job, uh, but the more expensive one, of course, is uh, much more secure, probably. But the one I used uh, seemed to be working flawlessly for the sum. Anyway, I'm sure you'll find cheaper versions if you have the patience to look for them. But there are some recommendations I gave you and hope you'll manage to find the right choice for you. Okay, after the initial setup, I will show you how to switch between desktop mode and game mode. Uh, desktop mode is a Linux interface of SteamOS because SteamOS is a type of Linux uh, and it's more uh, familiar with Windows users to say like this. The, Steam, the game mode is what you see here and it's a classical console um, menu because here you don't need to know much, you just need to install the game and play it, of course. Uh, and how to switch between the two? Of course, you press the Steam button, which is on your left uh, of your Steam Deck. I'm using uh, still the Steam controller. And from the power menu, have lots of changes, but you have switched to desktop here. Okay, so finally I managed to emulate the Steam Deck screen on my own and without other problems. There was a bug uh, when you change to, when you, other, other, when you add other display and change the um, resolution, the taskbar disappears. But now I've managed to put it. And this is how you manage multiple monitors from settings, which is near the start button here, like in Windows. You have lots of um, 
different settings. This is much more advanced than the game mode, like I said, it has much more, a lot more options, but easier to lose yourself into it, into them, and easier to uh, break something, of course. Uh, and like you saw in uh, Windows video drivers, you have um, a menu and you can change options for each of uh, this uh, monitor. I'm uh, using both of them uh, at the same resolution. Uh, but for the laptop screen is the Steam Deck screen actually and uh, 800 or uh, 1280 is the maximum it can go, you see only lower but HDMI to USB display port is my video card and my uh, display of course and uh, it goes to even to 4K I don't know if my monitor uh, can handle 4K but you learn something every day but on 4K you can use uh, on your uh, TV if you have a 4K display uh, TV of course you have to take into consideration that uh, most games are uh, designed to play 1280 or 800 resolution not in 4K I stretched a bit and used the uh, HD resolution 1920 or uh, 1080 uh, and of course to get back into the game mode ah and uh, I want to show you that uh, how you enter uh, a game from here you have two options, you either launch Steam and launch the game from there or you can launch it directly from the start menu here not this one you have already here games and the one I will show you Forza Horizon 4 and once we are in the game of course we can play it with the Steam controller or any other controller unfortunately it's night now here you can travel to Lego I did have some problems with this game it's not fully compatible sometimes it just exits the game to, and it doesn't matter if you're in a desktop mode or game mode and of course uh, to exit the game exit to desktop And of course to return to game mode you have a shortcut right on the desktop Oh I have an update Return to game mode And this is about it uh, There are tons of other tutorials on the net but I hope you understood from mine also uh, how to add another display to your Steam Deck and how to change the resolution and of course this implies to use desktop mode if you don't use desktop mode uh, your TV display will work your Steam Deck will close its screen and you'll have the default uh, 1280 or 800 uh, resolution but if you want at least HD because the ratio is wrong it's not uh, 16 on 9 it's 16 on 10 and it will be deformed 
uh, it's better to use uh, the way I showed. It's a bit harder to configure. You might want to mess around with the settings and see what the resolution is good for you and if you need to hide the taskbar and stuff like that. But in the end, uh, I think you'll have a better gaming experience uh, on a larger screen. So this is about it, about uh, the Steam Deck and uh, hope you enjoyed my video and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button. Bye bye.